How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rallet and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be making our own Elite Four in this video. So yes, now essentially what we're going to be doing here, is we have ourselves a few sprites, a uh, few teams ready and whatnot for my own personal Elite Four, what I would like it to be like. And this was made thanks to Nick4000, he made the sprites and whatnot and he helped put the teams together, which is really just appreciated man. Um, of course, like, you know, he did help with the, a huge part of the actual team creation, as he did most of the teams, but he did follow kind of the concept of what I really wanted to have so I do love the teams he created and essentially these are the teams I would be running for my own personal lead for now this video was inspired by the bird keeper Toby and his my Pokemon champion or my Pokemon Elite four video that he also did uh, something similar in that style but here in this video we'll just be talking about our own elite four um, just the people you know prior to the champion and then essentially at the end I'm gonna be the champion and I'll make you know a video separately from this one where I talk about my own champion and my own team what I will be running what Pokemon I'll be running how my character would look like and that sort of stuff either way I guess all we can really do right now is just get started with our first elite four member and it's going to be a dark type elite member so the first one here is going to be a dark type elite member and honestly I am really just so happy with, with Nick 4000's like artwork here it looks so splendid so you have yourself this kind of like almost like a 40 year old man he it looks like a bike rider he's got this like chain necklace around his neck and he looks badass and what kind of team does he run well it's a pretty interesting one first of all he has a mega hound doom which is insane of course this is a dark type team that he runs so mega hound doom i'm not gonna go into like moves and abilities and that sort of stuff as i am not the best when it comes to those things but if you guys want to come up with moves and stuff for the pokemon or the teams down in the you know the comment section feel free to do so Either way, first up is going to be Mega Houndoom, which is the perfect, you know, just perfect Dark Tap to start off with. Plus that Fire Tapping is, you know, pretty good. Uh, then we have ourselves Shiftry. Now, I know Shiftry is one of those Pokemon that a lot of people do not really, um, I don't know, a lot of people do not really like it because it does have, you know, a bit of a, you know, w you know huge weakness, if that makes any sense. But I generally think it's a strong and great Pokemon, in my own opinion. Now, I don't know how strong it is, competitively speaking, or how hard it would be to get past this thing. I don't think it would be too hard, I guess. Uh, if you're rolling something like a, you know, fire type, it should be you know, pretty smooth, easy, no problem. Um, but, of course, I still want it there because Shiftry is one of my personal favorite Pokemon. Always loved it. It's just perfect. Uh, then we have Crocodile, which uh, is just a bit of a weirder choice. This one, I wasn't, I wasn't really sure um, about this one, but I decided, you know what? I think Nick made a huge, like, hugely good choice here, so we're going to go with Crocodile here. Uh, then we have Honchkrow, which I'm really happy with. Uh, the reason for this one is because I actually kind of, um, I'm a huge fan of Naruto, and uh, I don't know if you guys have watched Naruto, but if you know Itachi Uchiha, he actually uses crows and whatnot, and I thought, hey, this is pretty lit, like, you know, I want to have a crow in my team, and it's a dark type, so, you know, let's just, perfect, let's go. So, then we have ourselves Hydreigon, which is, you know, of course, a just badass Pokemon in general, and finally, this is a must-have on a team, a Darkrai. Of course, we gotta have Darkrai in there, man, it's the, the best dark type in my opinion and that's why I love having it on there it is genuinely just the most perfect thing ever and I am just 100% satisfied with this thing like it is is just superb I could not be any more happy with it it's actually just exactly what I wanted so I am 100% like just certain this team is quality I don't know about you guys let me know what you think about it uh in the comment section down below but in general terms though I would say that this is the team the first elite member would be running now what I want you guys to do is down below in the comment section leave me suggestions for what this character should be named what should this elite four member be called uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Either way, that was the first one. And now, next up, we have ourselves a electric uh, Elite Four member. And this guy, uh, as you can see right here, has a bit of a more, like, you know, um, kind of more friendly look to him. He uh, looks like, you know, just a badass guy. He has kind of like a Pikachu thing on his, you know, forehead. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool, though. But what he runs, though, is essentially the team I always wanted. It is just the perfect, you know, electric type team. So, first up, you got yourself that... Raichu. Now, of course, I think I'd be running a normal Raichu, not on a Lolan one, um, just because only, I'm not a big fan of the Lolan one, so I would be running normal Raichu, uh, because, you know, it's Raichu, why not? And I was, you know, just kind of be fascinated with that Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, so that's the first Pokemon we'll be running, which I am 100% satisfied with. Uh, then we have ourselves a Pokemon that I just love. I've always loved this one, and it's Ampharos. I just love this Pokemon so much, and, you know, having it in a Elite Four team, it's just... Mwah, yes, very good. So, I'm 100% certain this one's a good one. And then we have a Pokemon that I, I just said must, it is a must have, and that is Electrovire. And I just need this thing on here because it's so powerful and it's just like the badassest of all electric types, man. And this thing is huge and I love it. But that's not the only thing. We also have ourselves Galvantula. And here's the thing I love Galvantula, and a lot of people, I don't know if you guys personally like this Pokemon. I know it's like a 
what do you call it? Like, um, I'm trying to, I was going to say spider here, but I don't really know what you would actually call it because, I don't know, English, the English language isn't really my first thing here. So, like, my first language. So, I'm not sure if it's, like, spider or tarantula or some shit. I have no freaking clue. I don't know what the difference is between them. But, but either way, spider Pokemon looks badass. And it's also one of my favorite Pokemon to use as a setup Pokemon in competitive prior to me quitting competitive because I was shit at it. But uh, I used to run one single team and this thing was on that team and I freaking loved it, man. It was a quality Pokemon, yes. So that's one of many. Now, next up, we have ourselves a little bad boy that I want to call Mahomi, who's roaming the goddamn seas and look at the size of him. Oh God, look at this thing. It looks beautiful. And of course, you know, we've got to have it on our team. Now, this is not the only thing we have. Finally, the Pokemon we're going to have here is going to be Emolga. And uh, yes, Emolga is on here. Um, weirdly enough, I was not really sure if this was going to be a good choice. I mean, the Morga is, you know, strength-wise, I don't really know what this Pokemon is, but the reason why it is here is because it's a cool-ass fucking Pokemon. You're not going to judge this thing. I love this thing. And Morga is a cool-ass Pokemon. Um, I love it, so I do not mind having it on here. Perfect for this team. And uh, yeah, this is our essentially electric uh, team for the electric uh, Elite Four. So yeah, that's the one. Now, we're not done yet. We have another one. So coming up next is going to be, um, you know, guys, just comment down below what you think this guy should be called. But coming up next is going to be the water type Elite Four member. And this is going to be a female character or a female member, actually. And she is going to be, you know, the, the third, actually, no, the the second strongest Elite Four member? Yeah, second strongest. And she is rolling a Wall Rain, which looks, mm, yes, quality, man. Also another Pokemon that I'm a huge fan of. And, of course, this water team is just... It's a dream come true. It is perfect. So you're running Wall Rain, which I personally love. Then you got yourself that homeboy, Golduck, coming in strong, which is... Honestly, I still don't know why Golduck hasn't gotten a Mega Evolution or, like, a Lola form or just something happening to this Pokemon. Like, we've literally left it in the gutters, man. And something needs to happen to Golduck. Uh, but that's not the only thing. We also do have a Mega Sharpedo. So, yes, a Mega Sharpedo is going to be roaming the seas, and we're going to have ourselves a great freaking time. So that's not the only thing that we have. And next up is going to be Caracosta. Now, this was a really hard choice here because I could have either gone with Blastoise or Caracosta. Uh, they're both like really just turtles. So I was like, mm, you know, which one's better? Well, Caracosta seems like the better choice here. So that's what we went for. And then we have ourselves a Gyarados. And oh, yes, boy. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, we got to have a Gyarados on this team. Now, I was actually thinking for a second, maybe I should do double Gyarados instead of the Caracosta. But I decided, you know what? Just single Gyarados we should be fine. But then that is not the only thing. We do have ourselves... Mm, a Pokemon that I have a hugely great relationship with. If you guys have ever watched my previous uh, Platinum playthroughs or my sleep blocks on that game, uh, you guys may remember this bad boy, but it is Azumarill. And oh, ho, 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 yes. This thing. Mm, I just love this thing. Uh, Azumarill is that one Pokemon that I just... I love this thing, um, because I used to use an Azumarill in my playthroughs, that was the strongest thing I've ever used, it was so ridiculously powerful, it was beyond me, how strong this thing was, and I was like, like, hey, hey, I take it, I take it, yes, mouse, yes, so yeah, uh, Azumarill's on there, of course, because Azumarill is badass, but we're not done yet, we still have more to go, and coming up next is going to be our final lead for member, and it's going to be another female member, and it's going to be this beauty right here, who is the fairy type, uh, and the final lead member you're going to take on before you take on the champion, uh, me, yes. So here we got ourselves a pretty interesting team, first up is going to be Mega Gardevoir, and uh, yes, Mega Gardevoir, um, badass Pokemon, could have, you know, just, could have, you know, thought of something else here, but, you know, it's Gardevoir, what are you going to do? It's Gardevoir, uh, but that's not the only thing though, we do also have a uh, Togekiss, so um, Togekiss is going to be coming in strong of course, because this thing is just a powerhouse sometimes, I've seen like in competitive th play sometimes where this thing can be like the most overpowered thing ever, and it can be so hard to deal with it, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem, this thing should be, you know, if you've got a decent team, you should be able to take it out in no time, then we got ourselves Sylveon, which of course, you know, in a fairy type team, Sylveon's got to be there, which makes sense, and then actually a choice here that I wasn't really sure if I wanted here, but I couldn't think of any other, like, I was thinking about maybe Slurpuff instead, but I think this one works better, and it's going to be Primarina, which uh, is a Pokemon that I never really think much about, uh, I didn't really think much about it ever actually, but I thought, hey, you know, whatever, let's go to Primarina right there, and it should be fine, but then we actually have ourselves Slurpuff after that, and uh, you know, Slurpuff, just my homeboy, gotta give him an applaud, and finally we have ourselves a Tapu Koko, so yeah, apparently we could have a, ta a Tapu Koko here, which, I mean, we did have a Darkrai earlier, so I think... We can run a Tapu Koko on a member. I, I, I 
think that should be okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think these teams should be okay. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's about it for this uh, countdown here. Or not really countdown, but like this listing. So I want to know your opinions, guys. What do you think about these Pokemon? What do you think about these teams? And also do make sure to mem like just give names to all these members. Uh, and I'll mention the names in the champion video that I'll be doing in a day or two or something like that when I actually get around to doing it. And I prepare myself, you know, a team, uh, well, you know, well-rounded video and all that stuff. And uh, yeah. I want to know your opinions though, Lance. What do you think about these teams? I know they're not the most balanced teams or the most, like, you know, mm, you know, well set up teams, but they are the uh, teams that we have ourselves here. And a huge shout out to Nick4000 for making the artwork and helping me set up the teams, which makes it easier for me just to, you know, get these videos out to you guys because it just, you know, he sets it up really well to the point where there's maybe one Pokemon that I would switch out and I have switched them out. So, yeah, that's about it, lads. Uh, I guess that's it for this video. Now, I want to know your opinions, guys, on these teams, of course, as I mentioned. Also, do leave names for the characters and also tell me if you guys had your own teams, which typings would you use for your own teams? Like, you know, for Elite Four, I mean, uh, what typings would your Elite Four members be? So, let me know in the comment section down below, lads. Either way, my name is Rafael Ryan. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and bye-bye.